The cause of securing our country is not complete, but tonight we are once again reminded that America can do whatever we set our mind to. Welcome back to Har Harbaugh. That was, of course, President Obama last night announcing that U.S. forces had killed Osama bin Laden. Late today, we got pictures of the president. Well, these are amazing pictures. In this situation room, there he is with National Security Advisor Tom Donovan. What a picture to be with the president there. And there's the president and his national security team. There's Hillary Clinton, their, the Secretary of State, obviously, with their face covered there. What are, are they getting an update on the mission against? But look at the paces of this. This is in real time watching the action. Well, the surprise news showed competence by the president, many of us think, and his team. So what's the impact politically? Does this news reshape the 2012 outlook we've been covering all these days on Hardball? John Harris is, of course, Politico's editor-in-chief and Major Garrett. I wanted two heavyweights on tonight, and I mean it, gentlemen. I really want to have a sense of this. We see our presidents through different windows, and sometimes we see them through the window of how much gas cost or the latest scandal or whatever else. Uh, here we see the president as operational. A president leading an operation in a way we've rarely seen one before, where he's calling the shots month by month, and then we get the replay. What's your sense, John Harris, of how this may shape the way the Republicans, the ones who really influence that party, are thinking about moving ahead the focus on what president they want rather than what kind of a show they want this year? Uh, Republicans have been uh, relying heavily to date on uh, showmanship, as you put it, on uh, flamboyant issues uh, like the birther issue, uh, and, and a lot of the attention has been going to more flamboyant characters. I think right. this is going to uh, mark a pivot point, and that uh, Republicans, uh, if they want to be seen as having a serious chance of, uh, of beating President Obama, are going to have to establish themselves, first and foremost, as serious people. Uh, I don't think there's any uh, uh, debate that's going to take place. That, uh, President Obama, whether you like him or don't like him, is seen as a serious presidential contender, and, and it's going to be okay. hard for Republicans to run uh, to run on showmanship. So I'm asking that question again to you, uh, Major, which is the question. I'll frame it this way: Okay, he's competent. We got a competent guy to run against him who shares our values, that's, but we have to have that competence match first. Now it seems to me that's the change. My thought. Yours, what's yours? Yes. Competence makes a difference, Chris, but it also makes a difference in the context of what the country cares about most. When Bush ran for re-election in 2004, the country was very focused on security, and his calling card was, there's been no attacks, I'm chasing the bad guys. In 2012, President Obama will run on competence and will have, Obama, have bin Laden killed on his tout sheet. That's something he's done on national security. But look at the New York Times CBS poll of this month. 54% identified the three most important issues in this country jobs, economy, and the budget deficit. 4% identified combined Iraq, Afghanistan, war, and terrorism in general. Okay. So the question for President Obama as this great event plays out is how much is the country going to be focused on national security, terrorism, as it regards the 2012 election, as opposed to the economy, budget, and the deficit. Well, so let's take a look at the president again today on a further briefing for the country. Here he is. Let's listen. Today, we are reminded that as a nation, there's nothing we can't do. When we put our shoulders to the wheel, when we work together, when we remember the sense of unity that defines us as Americans. Okay, let's talk politics. Back during the last election, not too long ago, 2008, here's President Obama in a presidential debate with John McCain. Let's listen to what he said about, well, you'll see. Let's listen. If we have Osama bin Laden in our sights, and the Pakistani government is unable or unwilling to take them out, then I think that we have to act, and we will take them out. We will kill bin Laden. We will crush al-Qaeda. That has to be our biggest national security priority. Bin Laden done that, as I said at the beginning of the show, John Harris. I tell you, that's a pretty good commercial right there. I would guess if he can get this back in the crosshairs as an issue next year. Your thoughts, John Harris? No, that there's ad, no question. Saw. This yeah. is a very authentic uh, mission accomplished moment. Not detracting at all from Major's uh, point, which we've seen again and again. Uh, we saw it in 1992 when uh, President George H.W. Bush sought to uh, re-election and the victory in the Iraq war didn't do much to help him. It is true that the issues uh, that are most salient, uh, it might not relate to national security next year. Nonetheless, it is a powerful mission accomplished moment that I think radiates, uh, as you say, an impression of competence, effectiveness, uh, command, uh, well beyond.
beyond this specific issue that's going to help uh, President uh, Obama in, in, in all sorts of different ways. Last thought, Chris, Major, major about that. How is he show confidence about gas prices? Just get him down. That's what confidence is, right? Well, that's right. And there are only so many things the president can control. What I would say about this is it shows a continuum of competence. If you look at what President Obama said during the campaign, not just about bin Laden, but about the Afghanistan campaign in general, I'm going to fight it hard, I'm going to think about it new, and I'm going to prosecute that war more aggressively than the current president, which he has done. And now, in Afghanistan, he has some progress, and in Pakistan, he went on his own and got the result everyone in the country wanted to see. Secondarily, Chris, I think it's enormously important what we saw last night. Young people around the country, here in Washington, of course, and in New York City, coming to the streets to celebrate. Young people who vote and whose lives have been defined by the war on terror and all the things it has inflicted upon us, not only psychically, but operationally. I believe in one element of the youth vote and energizing the Obama campaign for 2012, this will have enormous impact because these kids remember what it's like to grow up with bin Laden as sort of the biggest monster in their world. He's now gone. The war on terror feels more effectively fought under Obama than it may have to them under President Bush. I think that will have residual effect. So smart. Great analysis. I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you, Major Gary, the National Journal. You're a good guy. Thank you, John Harris, a great biographer of President.